basis points right now from where we closed on Friday. You look on this chart here, you can clearly see that in early morning trading, we are at high, the highest levels we've been going back. We're looking on this chart at the last quarter. This is the last 120 days. Let's draw this chart out six months. You can see that uh, this high peak that we've been at in the last three months uh, is still much lower than where we were in the time preceding that. That being said, uh, it's very, very good to see things like this. But the reasons for why we're seeing this in early morning trading uh, this morning, and again, this is very early morning trading, is that uh, the Dow and S&P futures, NASDAQ futures, all way, way down. A lot of this going on with uh, what's happening in China. Apple has fallen 5%. Uh, I mean, it's uh, the stock market is starting to reel, and that's when we start to get the flight to quality, the money moving from stocks into bonds, and that boosts bond prices, and thus that will help interest rates. Now, it's, as I'm recording this this morning, it is still too early for interest rate sheets to come out, but I would expect this morning we will see improved pricing based on what you've already seen run across the screen here. That has been based upon Friday's pricing, so uh, just keep that in mind if you're trying to get an actual interest rate update this morning, and if you want to know where things are once the market finally opens, drop me a 